Hi again, everybody, and welcome to Bengals Breakdown here on Bengals.com. I'm Dan Horde. He is Bengals.com Hordy. editor Jeff Butch Hobson. And this week, the Bengals are back home to host the dreaded, hated, but respected Pittsburgh Steelers. The Bengals looking for their first win. The Steelers at 5-5 five and five after an 0-3 start. The big news this week, and I'll admit I did not see it coming at the beginning of the week, the return of Cordy Glenn. He will make his first start, or at least we think he'll make his first start all year at left tackle. Yeah, he's gone from, you know, being almost persona non grata to, to he's, back, he's back here, he's making a start, and, uh, you know, at least the guy's a left tackle because the poor guys that have been playing for, for, the, for the Bengals, I mean, you know, John Jerry, God love him, is, is a backup right guard. Uh, Andre Smith is a backup right tackle. Both guys have five starts at left tackle for this team, and that's, you know, as Jim Turner said the other day after practice, the Bengals offensive line coach, you know, he... he he, 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 has the, he, he has no more respect for anybody that he's ever coached than Andre Smith and John Jerry. So, you know, Cordy gets a shot, and um, this, is, this is what kind of uh, this, this stretch since in the last three years has been for the Bengals' offensive line. I figured I'm going to look up a nice Dan Horde nugget. When is the last time the Bengals started three left tackles in a season? Last year. <laughs> so that's, a, it's, it's a, that's, that's not a trend that, you know, that's uh, something that they have to battle. So maybe Cordy gives them some ballast over there this week. Well, let's hope, because the Steelers have 34 sacks. They sacked Andy Dalton eight times in the first meeting back in week four of the season. Of course, another thing that would help slow down the pass rush would be a great rushing attack. The Bengals have had it the last two weeks, including a season-high 170-plus at Oakland last week. I'm glad you threw uh, – glad you that, – that's a, that's a good segue right into uh, how do you stop the – you know, how do you stop that pass rush? Um Run it a little bit, you know, and I think in the uh, uh, in the last three weeks, and Zach Taylor talked about this. Uh, they're at five point uh, uh, they're at five point one yards per carry, which is sixth best in the league. Uh, Joe Mixon looks like Mixon looks like the Joe Mixon of last year when he led the AFC in rushing. And Joe Mixon has a, has had a pretty good success against the Steelers. He's got a five point uh, five point five yards per career against the Steelers. So um, it would seem to be a perfect storm where. Looks like the Bengals are going to have no A.J. Green and no Watt and Tate. So it's uh, you and me and Alex Erickson and uh, <laughs> uh, Tyler Boyd playing wide receiver, you know, and Willis and Morgan, the, the, the rookie free agent. So it's, uh, you know, for a lot of reasons, Joe's got Joe's to get the ball. He keeps calling for it. And uh, I would say, I think, Hordy, you may know this stat, but uh, I think he's got more yards rushing in the last three games than he had in the previous uh, seven. So, uh, you know, I think all signs are pointing to another heavy workload for Joe. We know the Bengals have not been strong on offense this year. Well, the Steelers might have even been worse to this point of the season. The Bengals rank 27th in yards per game. The Steelers are 28th. The Bengals are averaging 80.6 rushing yards per game. The Steelers virtually identical 80.7, but they're five and five and they're doing it on defense Number two in the NFL in turnover ratio. Yeah. They've got a plus nine turnover ratio. Only yeah. the Patriots are better at a ridiculous yeah. plus 18. Yeah. I take everything back I ever said about Mike Tomlin because I always thought the guy was just a uh, product of his coordinators. He had some great ones. You know, Dick LeBeau, he had Munchak, was his line, line coach. But I tell you what, the guy's done a hell of a job. No Ben Roethlisberger, no Le'Veon Bell, no Antonio Brown. He's got him in the hunt. And it's... Uh, you know, it's kind of a little bit uh, Cower-esque, Bill Cower back in the early part of the century when they were trying to find a quarterback, when they went from Neil O'Donnell and they went into the Tommy Maddox realm before they ended up with Big Ben. Defense, running the ball. Now, they haven't been running the ball. Uh, you know, they haven't been running the ball uh, that, that well, which is surprising, but that's how good the defense has been. Nick Eason, who was the Bengals' defensive line coach, played for Mike Tomlin and uh, won a ring with Mike Tomlin. Same stuff. He's saying it's the same stuff. What they do with that defense is they get you to a three and out, and then they just put you in the meat grinder. Maybe the running game's not great, but they get you in a situation where they just pound it and pound it. And I, and I keep uh, – this is the kind of game – because it's funny because even the guys in Pittsburgh are calling for a close game. Some of the Pittsburgh media is calling for the Bengals to win. I think they think it's going to be close. And uh, I think it will be close. And one of these days, that special teams is going to knock, knock the door down. The Bengals have the number one rated special teams in the league. Close game like this, uh, I call it Kevin Huber's revenge. Kevin Huber will tie Lee Johnson this week for the most 
games ever played by a Bengals punter. Mm. It was the Steelers that broke his neck, uh, broke his uh, jaw, very famously about five years ago. They had and a fractured vertebrae in his neck as right, well. Right, right. Mm -hmm. and he's and he's you know and he's arguably the last two weeks, three weeks, maybe the last month, he's been their most valuable player. He's kept them in games, had a terrific game in Oakland. So all the you know maybe uh, nice uh, nice punting day by Huber, a return by Brandon Wilson, uh, a stop. Big field goal by Randy Bullock. 28 carries from Joel Mixon. That's the recipe. We've got the blueprint. That's the recipe. A couple of other things to throw in there. The Steelers have injury issues. Not only has their offense been suspect to this point of the year, but James Conner has a shoulder problem, Juju Smith-Schuster, concussion protocol, and a knee injury. If those two guys are out, maybe this is the week. The Bengals not only get their first win this year, but end a streak of nine straight losses head-to-head -head to Pittsburgh. Uh, that would be uh, what, uh, how, how sweet it is, as Jackie Gleason would say. <laughs> and at least some people watching this will recognize a reference to Jack, Jackie Gleason. <laughs> Our two young photographers have no idea who we're talking about. It's the Google Bengals it. And, <laughs> Google it. <laughs> it's the Bengals and Steelers this Sunday at Paul Brown Stadium for Jeff Hobson and our photographers, Marissa Contepelli and Cena Grivey. I'm Dan Horde. Thanks for checking out Bengals Breakdown here on Bengals.com.